We've just gotten started here, and already these guys have been handed a really difficult decision to make. Excellent selection. Just what this team needs to maybe get them over the hump. One Kansas City Chief is gone already. Here's a chance to have it. And that's a pick that'll solve a lot of problems out there. He'll fit in nicely. Some tough choices coming up right about now. Do you go after the... And this team does have a lot of needs, but this guy is a legitimate star. And he'll make everyone around him better. In these middle rounds, you have to start asking yourself, do you settle for what's available now, or do you try and push your luck? Yeah, here's a spot where the fan base would be Does this pick fill a big need? And I'm not so sure that it does, but it is at least a slight improvement over what they had in place. Boy, it's finger crossing time now. With the end in sight and a few more holes to fill, you've got to be hoping that there's still a gem or two that becomes available. I'll tell you right now, you won't go wrong adding any of these guys to your team. Options here on both sides of the football. It's pretty much of a coin flip if you ask me. It's the age-old question on draft day. What's the bigger need, offense or defense? Definitely some options with this pick. Do you take a skill player here or get yourself some help up front? And now is where you need to make these last picks count. Time to fill any holes you can before it's too late. Thank you very much, Larry Ridley. I'm Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. We are ready for this draft champions matchup as you get a quick peek at some of the stars in today's game. We're ready to go. Let's get down to kickoff. And it's the birth of a new club as we're underway in draft champions. Short kick here. Fielded about the 17. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Yeldon, the lone running back. He's going to get the football. And nothing doing on his first run. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Sean Weatherspoon with a tackle. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Now Smith. 
Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver, and it's third down. They're a good number of coaches that any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. So now an early third and 10 here on their opening drive. Throwing on third down, Smith. And he dropped it. Now it was tipped. Altered the ball a little bit, but he dropped it. And now fourth down. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. And they will get to this one and down it at the 13-yard line. Come up with an offset eye. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. On offense, the guy that you want to have the best eyes on the field are your quarterback, so you can see everything pre-snap, and then, of course, as the play develops. On defense, oftentimes it's the linebacker. And on this play, his eyes took him right to the ball, and he made a nice tackle. The intended target was Michael O.O. Matawanui, and now it's third down. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. And they've got an extra defensive back out there now on third and 13. They go play action with Cutler. Going for the deep ball. And got his man complete. And they'll get it all the way out near midfield to the 45. Wow, I can't help it. When I see Jay Cutler throw the football and throw one like that with a big completion, I can't help but be impressed. His arm strength, such an asset. Huh? It really is because it gets him in trouble sometimes, but I think it gets him out of trouble more often than that. Now a play fake here on first down. And hauled in by Pitta. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. And a nice gain of 21 yards. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing, puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. They go play action here on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. He was looking to get it to Allen Hearns that time. And now it's second down. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. On second down, Elliott. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is, and really a lot of the time they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance, they're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Steps away to his left. He's got the completion to Strong. Give him 12 yards on that one and earns him a fresh set of downs. On any given pass, but you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he's flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. And this play goes nowhere, losing yardage back to the 15. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Play action, Cutler. Sliding out of the pocket. Looking to start for Woods, and it's intercepted. Xavier Rhodes with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
So out come the Bucks now. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit jumpy. Yeah, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us <laughs> calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and out. And now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> Yeldon, the lone running back. And they'll give it to him here. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Bucks in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. And they've got it here with a first down. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. They go with the screen, it's Yeldon. They hold him to only two there on the screen, it's second down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. And they still need eight yards for the first here on second down. They'll fake it. Now Smith. Looking for Brett. Intercepted. Picked off by Kwan Williams. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask for play by play. <laughs> and he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. So after a scoreless first quarter, we at least finally get some points on the board. But it can't be what either of us expected, can it? No. The safety's not what you expect for the first points of the game, but... One of the goose eggs is gone. Taken right around the 44. Any return to get you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They'll start out on the ground. It's T.J. Yeldon. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Yeldon, the lone running back. Here's Smith. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. Third down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Here's Smith. And he hits the tight end. It's Deion Sims. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. 12 yards there as they move the chains. 
And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic, so anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to catch. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Jimmy Graham, 33 yards. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. Now Andrew Frank's on for the point after. And nowadays in NFL football, you have to account for all the receivers, sure, but the tight end's such a weapon, and they prove it right there. Oh, without a doubt. And we're seeing now the golden age of tight ends catching the football. I go back to Kellen Winslow. Uh -huh. To me, he was the prototype of what we're seeing today. We're seeing it each and every week now. Frank's now on to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And the Steelers set to take the field. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. They don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases-clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. One man in the backfield, Elliott. He'll get the football here, and he'll get this one up to the 26. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Brief break in the action here. We're back to Houston after this timeout. And some real confusion here. They won't even get to the line. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Off the play fake. Here's Cutler. Looking and finding Alan Hearns. And they'll get him down here at the 23. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that's going to bring up a third down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On third down, Cutler. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. And no move to get Cutler off the field. He stays out there, and they're going to go for it. Oh, he didn't spike it. He faked it. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And now, boy, the ball's going to go.